U.S. military officials are investigating a group of American soldiers in Iraq who refused to follow an order to deliver supplies because they thought the mission was too dangerous. CBS News national security correspondent David Martin has the latest from the Pentagon. Good morning, David. Good morning, Harry. That platoon involved in last week's uh, alleged mutiny has now been broken up with the soldiers assigned to different units while two investigations proceed, one into their refusal to obey an order, the other into the condition of the trucks they were driving. The soldiers, members of the 343rd Quartermaster Company, balked at driving a convoy of fuel trucks because they said the vehicles were in poor condition with any armor to protect them from the ever-present threat of ambushes. The general in charge of resupply missions in Iraq has ordered the unit to stand down until all the vehicles can be inspected and repaired. We will also assess armor protection for each of their vehicles and make an assessment to provide additional steel plating if it's required. I estimate that this process will take 10 to 14 days. The congressman who represents the unit's home district in South Carolina says the Army has as many questions to answer about the condition of the trucks as the soldiers have to answer about their alleged mutiny. Indeed, there were equipment deficiencies and an unusual number of breakdowns on these convoys. It's fair to ask the Army, what were you doing to address this problem before sending the troops out on this route? In addition to the trucks, some of the soldiers have told their families the fuel they were ordered to deliver was contaminated with water and could have caused helicopters to crash if it had been delivered and used. The wife of one sergeant says something must have been wrong. Something had to be mighty bad for him to go against the order. That is not him at all. Their commanding general acknowledges the soldiers had valid concerns about the conditions of the trucks, but most military experts agree that doesn't change the fact that orders are orders, and some of these soldiers could well face court-martial. Harry? David, is it possible there's a difference between the equipment that the reservists have and the regular army has over there? Well, certainly, reserves have been complaining for a long time that they are the last to get uh, new equipment. The uh, general in charge of resupply in Iraq says the reason this unit didn't have armored trucks was that they were driving uh, convoys in safer parts of Iraq. But this convoy, the one they refused to drive, was right through the heart of the Sunni Triangle. So that raises the obvious question, why assign such a dangerous mission to a unit that did not have these armored trucks? All right, David Martin at the Pentagon this morning. Thank you very much.